Well, hello everybody. Um, today we're going to just be looking at those silver screens that we bought to wrap around the side cab windows over the windscreen and around <laughs> and show you exactly how easy they are to fit and then take off. Now, I haven't I've shown you them I've shown you the van with them on, but I'm just going to go through the whole process of putting them on and then taking them off. So this is how they come in a black sort of hold all bag. Um, a th fairly thin but strong material with a with a drawstring at the top that you can actually seal them back in. Um, but let's get them out of the bag and get them put on. You just pull the whole thing out of the bag and what I do is open it, open it right up and I know this is the driver's side because this this bit goes at the bottom of the driver's door and this this little bit here that goes over the door corner to hold it in place so what we do is we fully open the door this side And then with this all in one piece, what I do is get this bit and just pop that over the door, like so, so that that is fitted around the door and the door pops out of the top there. But then I'll pull that in tight there. Pull it down, don't get your fingers trapped in the door, but then it's just a question of slamming that shut so that that is now locked in. The next thing we do is just open up this bit here goes around the mirror. What I'm going to do is just throw that over there. Let's get you in a bit closer. So this is a time when I can sort of re readjust things. And I don't think that that the top of the door is closed in there properly. So I'm just going to readjust that. So that's that done and this pops in here and you'll notice under here there's a velcro strap here that pulls in there and the corresponding velcro there which comes that all fits there and then they go together on there now what they do is they provide a couple of little velcro uh, sticky pads to go on the underside of, of this mirror because these taper away so that this can slip off but when when you've got the velcro on which I haven't done yet you can actually put that bit of velcro up under there and attach it on like so but I haven't done that yet but let's get on with the rest of it and show you how that wraps around the front screen. So you see I've just got it attached to one door and what I do is just unfold it and pull it round and pull it round the whole screen and what I do now is I just pop it underneath the windscreen wipers while it's loose at that end. like so. So you see this is all coming together quite nicely. Let's move you closer in here. Then we've got this other windscreen wiper here that we can just pop down there and we've got in here we've got a little velcro strap that comes around
and secures that all down to the windscreen wipers so it all sits in place very nicely the next thing is and the bit I got wrong before I read the instructions is attaching this other part to the door and what I'm going to do is do what I did um, before I read the instructions just to let you know what the problem is there so this comes around and I've sort of got that in there quite nicely that fits velcro that all together that's all great but then you open the door and of course it's it's actually far too short if you open the door let me let me just show you from the other side of the door how that's going to work let me just show you from this side of the door how that's going to work so that's the door fully open, but the screen is then too short. So you have to get the door open, just a little finger gap. Pull that all in and Pull that all down, there's a little handy tag there to pull it in tight. And that's it, job done. So just before we finish up, let's have a look at the um, the privacy. Well it's not the privacy screen, it's the it's the fold down bit that goes in the middle. Now I've not well I've I've read the instructions on this but it looks quite challenging. It's quite high up and the uh, Velcro tags are behind. So I'm gonna just climb up on the wheels and uh, show you how that rolls down. So there you go, pretty simple. Um, and that gives you a lot of light back in to the habitation area and you can leave it like that or you can fold it back up like so so you've got a bit of light coming back in and a simple job without taking it all off and on again to get light in the habitation area during the day I'm going to pop that back in and uh, finish up here. Job done. So that's how easy they are to fit, but what about taking them off again once you've done once you've been, well, if you want to go out for the day, how quickly can we take them off? And what I would do normally at this point is, well just before this, I would just give them a wipe down to get any water residue off before I fold them back into the bag. But essentially I'm going to put them straight back on afterwards so I won't bother to wipe them down.
So we've got them folded halfway across. I just pop this other mirror back out. Then unclip this tag underneath here. And that is how you get them off. Getting them back in the bag is a question of just folding them in half and slotting them back in the bag. So that's it. We're all done. I'm going to get these back on. Well, I've got it all back on the van, uh, fitted quite nicely. You'll have seen how easy it was to get off, much easier to get off than it is to get on. But you'll see it only takes a couple of minutes to pop the door corners over hold that in place wrap it around pop the windscreen wipers in place and then just open that door a little crack to get that other door corner over and shut the doors don't forget to lock the doors when you're done uh, it's easy to forget anyway that's all for today so i'm going to see you again soon bye bye for now